Today we're going to make a cocktail that should have Palm Wonderful or some blueberry derivatives and we're probably going to talk about being creepy as a human elf on the shelf. Is it getting hot in here? Welcome to Common Man Cocktails, I'm your host Derek Schomer, that's Ian Andrews, a, a, a second host, a sub host, a taller host, whatever you want to call it. Co-host. Co-host. I can yield. I can stand up on my... Soapbox. Soapbox. There you go. I'm having this there you go. shit. That's all right. Um, did we, you typically ice this. We didn't do that, but yeah. um, what you could do is you should put ice in your martini glass. This is called... We still have time to do that. We do. This is going on the 22nd, so that's coming up for us here in reality. Uh, yeah, what's this today? Is a, this 18th? Probably, yeah. The recorder, really. Christmas cocktail. Jennifer selected the week of Christmas cocktails from websites and whatnot and Googling and she just throws stuff up. So this recipe is called the Pomicello Martini. It's got pomegranate juice and martini stuff. Uh, and our producer of the day is Phil Parker. <laughs> um, <laughs> and uh, I was gonna say, I, was, I keep forgetting to say who it's submitted by, but I don't have to do that this week, so now it's even gonna be worse. Nice. This well, is gonna be yeah. three ounces, what do we got? Three ounces of pomegranate juice. Three ounces of pomegranate juice. We're using Palm Wonderful because it's wonderful. Awesome. Yep. Uh, we got an ounce of limoncello. We've got an ounce and a half of vodka because it's just not a martini without vodka or gin or a martini glass. Need some strength to it. Yeah. Uh, this is the type of cocktail that you would probably get at like a a restaurant, probably a hipster restaurant. Not really any restaurant at the time or something. Doesn't matter. You think? Uh, yeah. Like you know, it at seems the to end, be like something you might get at Chili's. That's what. That's what I mean. Okay. Like that's hipster. No. Yeah. Like when you look at the yeah, like a signature cocktail, chilies, signature Cactus seasonal Jack, cocktail, Cactus Jack, Longhorn, any of those places that they go through and they make like take vodka, put flavoring in it. You've got name the flavoring and put the word martini after it. Yeah. Elderflower martini, uh, cherry martini, apple martini, grape martini. All it is is like they pick their brand like whatever great vodka it is, and they're like, oh, just add this, and that's a, it's really kind of boring. But people love them. Yeah, this one so, takes a little bit that. in a different direction by adding the limoncello to it. You don't see too often. Oh, yeah. But it's perfect because we just uh, got the lemon from Fabrizia. And Local it might not even have them. been, has been on, that might not even have launched. So, well, wow. free preview. And it's cool. Yeah, it's in the fridge. That's cool that we have this refrigerator that does stuff like this. Yeah, let's see your fridges. We only have one right now. The other one is one missing, which is awesome because when you pull that refrigerator out, it was put in first. This refrigerator is put in second. So when I went to get this one out, I couldn't get it by this refrigerator. So we had to like lift it up. It was. You could have just moved this fridge out. Give it its full stuff. Color's really good. Oh wow! That the limoncello and the pomegranate make a really cool color in there. Is that a good spot for it? Did you take the photo? I did. Why, you want stuff in it? Go ahead. Oh, I, I don't, I... Uh, arrange the scene, Ian. I like to arrange the scene. That's it, really. <laughs> I'm gonna kick him in the nuts. <laughs> <laughs> All right, uh, scene arranged. It was. Let's put this in our face. Do it! Pinky's oh, out. you gotta put the pinky out? Pinky's out. Because it's it's right before the holidays. Is it, this is a actually it's fairly really simple holiday. drink to yes. make. <laughs> It's if, even easier to spill. Did you spill? Yeah. Yeah. It's a good drink for the holidays because if you have a bunch of people over, you don't want to put a lot of work into it. Mm. Boom! Vodka, limoncello. If you have your own homemade limoncello that you just haven't figured out how to use it, there you go. Boom! Hey, what's great is you can pre-mix this too because there's no, yeah, there's no juices, juices in there. There's no eggs in there. I mean, all maybe a dilution factor where you can pre-mix and still shake it to chill if you want to. I was wondering what was going on there. Jennifer didn't buy regular. That's I a blueberry. Would, ah. I thought it might be because the cap isn't. Um, so there is a little bit of blueberry in ours. Yes. <laughs> Oops. I saw That's it. Okay. I'm looking at it going, that doesn't look right to me. Yeah. Um, <laughs> oh, Jen. Oh, I need to read. It's still pretty good. No, blueberry, I, I, I think so. I think blueberry might enhance it. Yeah. Mm. Blueberry and lemons go all together, right? Like okay. blueberry, uh, electric lemonade or whatever it is with yeah. blueberries. Mm. Or acai with, with in lemonade, which is kind of like a blueberry, but it's not really. It's acai. Um, you also, when you muddle blueberries, a lot of times you use lemon juice to, to kind of do that muddle extraction. Oh, yeah, yeah, because you need a liquid uh, in there to help. Yeah, yeah, a little sugar, a little lemon juice. It's not too sweet. No. There's no, no real sweetener. Pomegranate tends to be drier. Yeah, I was going to say it's a little bit dry because of the pomegranate, which is good. But it's not as dry as I would have thought it would have been. And the, the limoncello is not too sweet, but it's sweet enough to give it a little bit a little bit more than just some dryness. That's true. There is, the citrus does, if, 
and it makes it so it's not just a boring drink that's made literally with vodka and a juice. Yeah. Like, all you'd have to do in that case, thankfully because of the way Palm Wonderful makes the double bubbles, you just drink one bubble, you fill the next bubble with vodka, you shake it, oh, you're good enough. to go! There you go. That's gotta be, well, let's see how much is martini this. In a bottle. That's eight ounces of vodka, eight ounces of Palm, done! Oh my gosh. <laughs> eight and eight! Death in a bottle. Yeah! Nice. Yeah, well, you wouldn't die, but I mean, that's only like uh, that's a... That's a college drink? Yes. Oh, yeah. Yeah. I mean, you could also just not do that and, and just put a little bit of vodka, like, fill right where it is now and, and do more of like a, uh, more like a, a screwdriver, like, ratio to it. Or you could just make one of these. Granted, you could probably buy a whole case of Natty Ice for the same price as a Palm Wonderful bottle. <laughs> that's true. A case of Natty Ice or one Palm Wonderful, you decide. Yeah, weigh, weigh it out on your own budget. Yeah. Um, we need a gosh, we need a good holiday question. Holiday question. Do you believe in Santa Claus? Do you believe in Santa Claus? Do you like little elves that run around and, and like voyeur on you or whatever that elf in the shelf thing does? Uh, that's, that's the question. Do you elf if you have kids? Do you elf in it? Do you use the elf, you in, the elf shelf? in the shelf? Yeah, we don't have kids. Do you that's have kids? actually true. How many people who don't have children? Still do the elf on the shelf thing? Do any type of who was kind talking of ritual about thing? the get? Was it, did Nancy say something about a Craigslist guy? Or is that you? No, You're on much. Craigslist looking for a guy? No, this, what? what was it? Somebody was on Craigslist advertising himself as a elf on the shelf. for hire elf on the shelf for your Christmas parties. <laughs> oh, like, like, Where okay. he just arranged himself in places and stare at people in an elf costume. <laughs> that would be the best job ever. You know what? <laughs> I, have to I didn't think it was that bad. I have to praise him for the creativity <laughs> in going out and, and, and doing something that's not your 9 to 5 job. Yeah. I mean, that takes some creativity, and you know what? That's taking advantage of the season right now. I guarantee okay. you he got hired at least at one event. Oh, he made some good money this Oh, season. yeah. I bet. Dude, yeah. It, it's the that's stupidest awesome. thing, but right when you hear it, you're like, that's dumb. And then you're probably like hanging out with friends, you're like, and oh, you know what I saw we could do? And it's brilliant at the same time. It is. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, I don't think I could hold myself as Sarah somebody for that long. No? No. I would, no, I would get sore. Just like, no. Well, then you move around to different spots. Yeah, yeah but how long? Like, like, yeah, you have to have like the kind of like the little pedophile <laughs> face yeah. going on. <laughs> you want to get, get in my van? <laughs> yeah, that's. You can be creep. <laughs> no. you, you hey, what are you gonna say? You can be creep on the street. Oh, yeah. you don't have to be enough on the shelf. Creep you can be creep street. on the street. <laughs> I, I could totally be creep on the street. Just you got to hang out behind people every now and then. Just like just get uncomfortably close to them. Yeah, yeah. But and listen in on their conversation, and then when I look at you, just look away. <laughs> but not move. Imagine all the gossip you got to hear. Right. Oh, that's a great job. There. So that's a double dip. First, first he's getting paid for the party. Then he can blackmail all these people. Right. <laughs> and then he can tweet out the pictures later. If you just have like a little webcam or something. Oh yeah. Right near elf. Hat. Elf yeah. cam. Elf cam. Yeah. I would probably wow. be in your crotch. I would think. In mine. We should start a business. Any crotch. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Eat a little elf cam. <laughs> Uh, so there's your question today. What do you celebrate in your rituals for the holidays? And you know what? If you're not into Christmas uh, because either religious convictions sure. or because you just hate the man, the, the marketing man behind Christmas, uh, not the man like Santa or Jesus, uh, or whichever one you believe in. I will believe in, I, I think Santa and Jesus are in the same level of fantasy in some level. Uh, sure. Whatever that holiday is, do you commit to the to the the rituals, even if you're by yourself? Yeah. Do you go to like a midnight or, mass if you're a Christian or? Yeah. Oh or God. Or do and, you, and and do you only do it on midnight mass? Yeah, on Christmas. Do, do like, you go once to church? The highest twice subscriber a year, rate twice a year. Yeah. Thanks yeah, right? yeah. Thanksgiving, Christmas. They get a spike no, like Easter. you did in your Vinique commercial. Oh, is it Easter? Yeah. Yeah. Easter, yeah, it's like Vinique. Yeah. 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 It's just like you just have like one huge spike and then it's just this. <laughs> Actually, we're still getting hit by that. That's good. I guess. Oh, 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 we have to do other promos. You can get that at ostrich.com. You can also use yes. Santa as a coupon code. Santa. It's Santa, right? Where Excellent. am I know? Oh, it's over there. Santa, save 20% until January 9th, 2016. Yeah. Since it's not January, you can still do that. Yes. Um, what uh, else do we do here? Go to cmc.com. Wait, no, wait, what do I think? Go to everydaydrinkers.com <laughs> slash newsletter. Nice. Slash newsletter. Go to cmc.com. It's probably Catholic. Patreon.com slash cmc to Donate to the show, that's what yeah. I was thinking. Yeah. And everydaydrinkers.com if you want to do a one-time donate. Uh, dot to slash donate to do a one-time donation. All the things he just said, the truth. Only only better. <laughs> I stumbled. You can say them in the comments below. Yeah. We're we'll teaching you how to drink. Found it. Um, I don't know. But by using that subtle salt, the saline, 
is going to cut down on the bitterness, right? And it also brings out the rest it of the flavors yeah, in the drink because it kind of opens up your taste buds and yeah. it lets those salty taste buds have some exposure.